tell us about a really original, fantastic African story idea which is based in Africa, but which will appeal to a global audience. And it's got to work for TV, but also for radio and digital and social. We need people to have substantial journalist experience of working in Africa. We also ask our shortlisted candidates to give us a link to a video that they have done. And this might mean something that they've already done live or done on air, broadcast on air. But hey, we're looking for potential too. So if you haven't already done stuff on air, you can get a friend to record you on uh, their phone and send that a link and upload it to Vimeo or so use YouTube and send us that link. But we don't want to waste people's time, so we only ask the shortlisted people to do that. And then uh, our judges, I'll tell you who they are in a minute, are going to be interviewing the shortlisted candidates uh, on Skype. We don't pay, unfortunately, for you to fly to London for the interviews, but we do that on Skype and have a lot of discussions and uh, deliberations to get the really, really best person. And I think we're pretty proud of Amina and our other two winners. So you need to be this professional, substantial journalist. Uh, living and working in Africa and to be a journalist. And you also need to have a really excellent broadcasting voice. We want people who perform at the microphone with flair. And you also need to have a really uh, wide and up-to-date understanding of the African continent. So that means including politics, including history and culture and business. And we need you to be fluent in English as a first or equivalent language. And that's obviously pretty crucial too. You are hearing us here because we are launching this award today, now in Ghana. The application deadline is, one, uh, is four weeks time. So the application, if you want to submit and your friends to submit. And it's interesting, I have to say, how it's quite sad. We get so many people who start the application because it's quite tough. They don't get to complete it. So we need you to have completed your application by the 23rd of March. And then you come to the BBC this September.